Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy with jumpropegym.com and today's workout is a basic beginner jump rope workout. What we're gonna end up doing is some basic moves. We're gonna start off with the jump rope. We're gonna do one minute of just some basic two foot jumps. Then we're gonna switch over to one foot and do some single foot jumps for about 15 seconds on one foot, then about 15 seconds on the other foot. Then what we're gonna do is right back to that two foot single, just a basic two foot jump for another one minute. And then what we're gonna do is interval into some simple body weight exercises. What we're gonna start off doing is some push-ups. We're also gonna be doing some lunges and then we're also going to be doing some sit-ups. So as I mentioned, the workout begins with one minute of your just basic two-foot jump. So I'm gonna head back here. We're gonna get my clock started over here and we're gonna start this workout. All right guys, 10 seconds. Like I said, it begins with one minute of two-foot jump. So ready in three, two, one, let's get that jump rope going. All right guys, remain uh, proper form on this, keeping those feet together, toes are in a line, jumping on the balls of your feet. Now you're rotating that rope just with your wrists, keeping those elbows in close to your sides, chest up, shoulders back. We're gonna do this two foot jump for just about one minute. And then what we're gonna end up doing is alternating over onto our left foot, or you can alternate over onto your right foot. We're gonna be doing 15 seconds of a single foot jump, and then 15 seconds on the other foot for a single foot jump. And then we're gonna transition back over into this two foot jump for another one minute. About 20 seconds left here, guys. Keep going, keeping those feet together. Toes are in a line. Remember to breathe, chest up, shoulders back. I'm keeping those elbows in close to my sides, hands slightly in front of my hips. About five more seconds here, guys. And then we're transitioning, three, two, one. All right, now I switched over onto my left foot and I'm jumping just on that. I have my right foot slightly out in front. You can kick it back if you want and bring it up. 15 seconds here on this leg. And then we're gonna switch over to the other side. Three, two, one. All right, 15 seconds over on this foot. Keep it going, guys. Once this 15 seconds is up, then we're gonna switch back down and do a basic two foot jump again for another one minute. Ready guys? All right, two foot jump here. Keeping those feet together on the balls of your feet. Make sure you have your timing down. Remember to breathe. Keep going guys. A Little bit longer here and then we're gonna transition to our first body weight movement which is going to be 10 push-ups. Got about 30 seconds left here. Keep going on the balls of those feet, making sure those heels are not touching the ground. Fifteen more seconds, and now we're moving into that first body weight movement, which is going to be sit-ups. Or I'm sorry, it's going to be push-ups. Three, two, one. All right, set that jump rope down. What you want to do is always stage your rope behind you. Now we're gonna get down the ground here. We're gonna do ten push-ups. So down here on the ground, what you want to do is get in a nice flat plank position. Shoulders and elbows should be in line with your wrists. So nice flat plank here, going all the way down, touching the chest to the ground, pressing all the way up. That's one, all the way down, all the way up. Two, three, four, full extension on those arms to the top. Five, six, seven, chest touches the ground, all the way up, that's eight. That's nine, last one, all the way up. All right, now we're gonna pick up that jump rope, we're moving on again. We've got another one minute of the two foot basic jump. Ready? In three, two, one. Let's get those ropes going. All right guys, just like that first round, we're gonna do one minute here of this basic two foot jump. Then we're gonna transition over onto one foot for 15 seconds, the other foot for 15 seconds, another one minute of the two foot jump, and then we're going into our next body weight exercise, which this time is gonna be front forward lunges. Keep going guys, you're doing great. Get that rope going. Always maintain that proper form. All 
All right, we got 15 seconds left here, then we're gonna transition over into that one foot jump. Five more seconds here, come on guys. Three, two, one. All right, switching over to my left foot. Got about 15 seconds here. Like I said, you can have it out in front, you can kick it back, whatever's comfortable. Three, two, one, switch. All right, 15 seconds on this foot. Keep that foot up, still jumping on the balls of your feet. Three, two, one. All right, two foot jump, guys. We've got one minute here on this two foot jump. If you want to change it up a little bit, you can go into a little bit of a boxer step. We're still doing single rotations with the rope. But if you that two foot jump gets to be a little bit too much for you on the balls of your feet, you can switch it off. Just do a simple boxer step. We've got one minute here, guys. And then we're transitioning into our next interval, body weight interval, which is going to be 20 forward lunges. We're gonna alternate those lunges. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. About 20 more seconds here, guys, and then that's where we're gonna move into those forward lunges. Remember to breathe. If you need to take a break, get some water, go ahead. Ready, guys? Three, two, one. All right, set that jump rope down behind you. Always stage that rope behind you so you're easily accessible to get back into that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up doing 20 forward lunges, 10 on each leg. So you're gonna lunge out, nice 90 degree angle here, nice 90 degree angle in the back, all the way up, now you're gonna alternate legs. So here's number two. All the way down, full extension, hips open at the top. Number three, there's four, keep going. Here's number eight, make sure you are lunging out far enough so that knee is not going out over the front of that toe. Here's 11. Here's number 15, five more. Come on guys. Two more. Here's number 20. Fully upright, hips to the top. All right guys, we're gonna pick up that jump rope. This is our final round here. We have one more minute here on this jump rope for the two foot, just like the other lunges. We're gonna go here, get started here in just a few seconds. Three, two, one. All right, here's a two foot jump, guys. So, one more minute here on this two foot jump, and just like the other rounds, we're then gonna transition into those single foot jumps. Another one minute of the two foot jump, and then the last body weight movement we're gonna end up doing today is sit ups. We're gonna do 30 of those. And basically each of these three rounds make up one round of the total workout. And what you can end up doing is adding more rounds on. I suggest doing a total of three rounds of this entire workout. So you're gonna get a section of three push-ups in there, three sections of those lunges, and then also three sections of the sit-ups at the end. So a total of three rounds once you've completed one segment. 10 more seconds here, guys, and we're gonna transition over into that one foot jump. Three, two, one. All right, switch off. One foot here. I'm over on my left foot. I got my right foot slightly out in front. Maintaining the same timing as I was doing with that two foot jump. Ready, guys? Three, two, one, switch. All right, over on the other foot now. If you end up messing up, hitting your foot in that transition, just to get that rope back going again as quickly as possible. All right guys, three, two, one, switch. All right, now we're back down to this two foot jump here. Keeping those feet together, toes are in a line, slight bend in those knees. We've got one minute here, and then we're gonna transition over into our final body weight exercise, or our final body weight movement, which is going to be 30 sit-ups. Remember to breathe, chest up, shoulders back. 
About 30 more seconds here. Twenty more seconds, come on. Actually fifteen, keep going, come on. Make sure you rotate that rope just with your wrists. Three, two, one. Alright, set that jump rope down. Now we are moving into our final body weight movement, which is going to be sit-ups today. We're going to be working those core that core. So what you want to do is get, if you have an ab mat, highly recommend one of those. If you don't happen to have one of these ab mats, what you can do is get a big bath towel, roll it up, set it up against the lower part of your back, gives you a little bit of an arch support. So if you have an ab mat, roll it up. We're going to be bringing our knees together up towards our chest, feet together. We're going to come all the way back, touching our hands on the floor next to our ears. Then we're going to come all the way up, touching our hands on the sides of our feet, trying to make contact with our chest and our thighs. That's one. We're going to end up doing 30 of these sit-ups. All the way back, all the way up. Here's number five. Here's 10, keep going guys. Fifteen, halfway. Really use the hands to help bring you up. Use the momentum. Five more. Three, two, one. That completes thirty setups, guys. All right, that actually completes all the different segments of that workout. So that is basically considered one round of that workout. What I suggest you do now is maybe take a 30 second to a one minute rest and then actually repeat that entire sequence that we've done for a total of three rounds. So what you're gonna end up doing is starting off with that one minute of jump rope, transitioning over into those one foot jumps for 15 seconds each, one minute of jump rope again, and then we're gonna do each of those body weight exercises those push-ups, we're going to be doing those, those 10 push-ups, we're going to be doing those 20 forward lunges, 10 per leg, alternating those, and those 30 sit-ups for a total of three rounds. And like I said, do a 30, to one minute, 30 second to one minute rest in between each round. Just enough time to quickly grab some water, but get right back into that. If you don't need to go ahead and take the rest, highly recommend not doing that and just move through all three rounds of this workout without any rest. So that is your jump rope beginner workout, guys. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Out. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. Also, make sure you check out jumpropegym.com and register for our all access membership for a very low price. Basically, you will get access to every single one of the Jump Rope Gym training programs for one full year. Plus, you get daily exercises sent to you every single week. Those are programmed every week on Sundays, and you will get those for Monday through Friday. You also get access to our custom workout builder, and everything comes with the daily meal and nutrition plan, guys. So make sure you check out Jump Rope Gym and sign up for one of our training programs, either the Jump Rope Gym or that all access membership. So thanks Thanks a lot, guys. I will see you right back here in the Jump Rope Gym for the next workout.